Hello and welcome to Inside China Today. I'm Tara Sunderland and here are some of the stories we're following for Friday, July 31st. Beijing's former mayor gets 16 years for corruption. Floods continue to plague eastern China. And the murdered body of a Taiwan city councillor turns up in China. The former Beijing Communist Party chief and mayor received a 16-year jail sentence on Friday. Chen Shitong was convicted in a closed trial for corruption and dereliction of duty. The verdict concluded that Chen misappropriated approximately $4.7 million and received an additional $67,000 worth of illegal gifts while serving as mayor. Chen, 68, is the highest ranking communist official ever convicted for corruption. Dissidents protested the sentence, alleging 16 years was too light for the amount of money involved. Flooding in eastern China is expected to intensify over the next few days as storms continue to afflict the area. The swollen Yangtze River is now moving through eastern provinces towards China's largest city, Shanghai. State statistics blame the floods for an 11 million ton reduction in summer grain production. Damage caused by the floods is valued at $4.8 billion and 2,500 people have died. The Yangtze's water levels are expected to remain high for some time and dikes could collapse at any time, said relief officials. The U.S. Commerce Secretary on Thursday urged China to open its markets and increase legal transparency. William Daly, speaking at a conference in Chicago, stressed that a predictable legal system was important for doing business in China. Sheltering state industries from competition would only exacerbate problems caused by Asian economic woes, he added. Daly said he does not expect approval for China's bid to the World Trade Organization to be approved. The murdered body of a Taiwan city councillor kidnapped earlier in the week turned up at Haichung Central Hospital on Friday. Li Ti Xuan, a visiting counselor from Kaishung in Taiwan, was abduct abducted with her boyfriend at knife point on Monday. The boyfriend escaped unharmed, but Lin remained held for a $200,000 ransom. Authorities reported Lin and her boyfriend owed a mainland magnesium export of $710,000. The company's chief and Lin's local business partner is allegedly the police's prime suspect. The cause of death was not disclosed. And that's Inside China Today. For the European Internet Network, I'm Tara Sunderland.